Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got one more on the farm project for you. In case you've missed it, I have four other projects I've posted featuring on the farm. Um, so make sure if you're looking for ideas to hop back over to my blog. This is a really, really fun bundle that you can use for birthdays, babies, um, thinking of you, thank you, just, I mean, a variety of of occasions. We're just going to make a general one that says today is a good day. All right, let's do our stamping first. Now our dies have all these different animals and so does the paper. So, you know, if the chickens aren't your thing, go through here and find animals that you like, um, that you want. You can make these little tiny animals or you can use the larger either stamped animals or animals from the designer series paper. I didn't, hadn't used the chickens, so I really wanted to use the chickens. So I'm gonna take my Memento Black and I'm gonna stamp two chickens, one, two, and I'm also going to stamp the silo twice, one and two. Um, now I'm just gonna take my Crumb Cake ink, all right? And I've got a blender pen here. This is just a a little marker that has a little bit of solvent in it um, and it'll pick up your uh, your ink color and you can use it just to kind of color add a little bit of color to whatever project you're doing all right so just a little bit of color kind of keeping it simple I don't want them to have a whole lot of dark on them all right and then I'm gonna take my uh, poppy parade stamp and write marker and just very carefully add a little bit of red to their legs and to that little thing on the top of their head called the comb. All right, that's all you have to do. Now for our silos, I am using Smoky Slate. So I'm just gonna take Smoky Slate Light, color in our little silo. I'm not gonna worry a whole lot about um, shading or anything. It's very small. Then I'm going to take my dark and I'm going to just draw a line right up that center part of the silo. Okay, now the other thing that we need to do is stamp the hills in crumb cake on craft paper. All right, so we're going to stamp them and there's no die for this but it's super easy to cut out. All you're gonna do is just follow the line just around the top like that. Now we're gonna, we're gonna adhere that onto our circle in a minute. You'll see in just a sec. But we're gonna use our dies to cut out. First, we've got the chicken die. You know, I'm gonna cut this paper a little bit smaller because I'm using my mini machine today. We're going to use the chicken die and the silo die. And then we're going to use these textured hills right here to cut out just a couple more hills to give us some, a little more interest on our little scene. All right, let's see here if I can, how much I can fit on our mini machine. Our mini machine is super fun. Um, it's great for on the go, crafting, or maybe you don't have a lot of space where you craft. So this is perfect for that. This blue machine is actually only available in the starter kit during celebration. We have a white one that you can get anytime, but the special fancy blue machine is only available in a starter kit. All right, now I've added a little bit of post-it tape to hold those in place. Uh oh, we've got we've got a runaway hill. Let's bring it back over. I don't have to tape those down because I'm not worried about matching them. They're not cutting out a stamped image, but they are embossing at the same time. See how they've added a little bit of texture to those hills. All right, now let's get our first little chicken and our little silo, and then we're gonna do the other two real quickly. 
you can just hold them like this, use your tape, stick it down. I find that with these tiny dies, for, you know, to be able to see it, it's best to hold it up close to me like that to make sure that I get it in the right place. And then to ensure that it doesn't slip while I'm cutting it. Post-it tape can be fine really at any office store, um, but I order mine from Amazon. All right, so there's our second chicken and our second silo. Now I have already cut out a balmy blue stitched circle. This is the second largest circle in the stylish shape dies. And I'm gonna put this circle up a little bit like that, okay? Now I'm gonna take my hills and we're gonna put dimensionals. We're gonna need many dimensionals, probably. So we'll put one there and one there. And I'm gonna put that kind of right there. We want it to cover up that bottom. And then we'll put one right there. Okay, well that dimensional just doesn't want to let go of its backing. Okay, and then we'll take this one and put it down here like that. All right, now I'm gonna take my scissors and very carefully go around my circle, matching the edges of my blue circle. All right, there we go. Now we'll take our chickens, turn them over, add dimensionals to them. Are they big enough? I think they are for a regular dimensional. I'm gonna put one down here and I'm gonna put one up here, kind of coming out from behind. Well, let's see. Okay, let's see, right there. And then for our silos, we're just gonna get some liquid glue, just a little bit. That's probably a little bit too much right there. And I'm gonna do one down low, kind of tuck it down in that hill, and another one behind it a little bit higher. All right, the last thing I'm gonna do is take some craft white ink. I'm not embossing. I'm just going to stamp that cloud right there. Now that ink will smear, so I am going to dry it real quick. You can emboss it if you want, but it's not necessary. All right, and then I'm going to take a chalk marker and just fill it in lightly. All right, now we've got our little farm scene ready to go. Let's put our card together. I have a special element I'm gonna show you that I'm using for this card. First, we're gonna use a balmy blue card base, and I've got a So Saffron mat for this cute little paper that has the windmill, the chickens, the ducks, the geese. And we're gonna put that right there. And we'll put that on our card base, balmy blue card base. Then I've got a strip of the chicken wire print designer series papers, the other side of that blue paper. I'm gonna put that right there. And then I've got the little, what I think looks like maybe a road, little road um, stitching. I'm not sure what it is, but it's super cute. And it's the perfect yellow, it matches of course, from that same pack. And I'm gonna put that over like that, okay? Now, I got on Amazon and I ordered some chicken wire. Now, where you live, you might have access to this. You might have this in your garage, but I didn't. So I ordered chicken wire, and this is craft chicken wire. Um, it came with these little um, wire cutters. It also came with gloves, which I thought, Oh gosh, it must be really sharp, but I didn't really have a problem with it, so I'm not using the gloves. I hope I'm not sorry. 
All right, so just cut off a piece. And I don't really like that straight edge on the ends. So I'm gonna cut that off. I have this linked on today's blog post if you wanna order some for yourself. Now, the way I decided to attach this is I just kind of flatten it out and then I'm gonna take four dimensionals and really just squish them down where that circle is gonna go here in a second. And that is gonna give you plenty of adhesive. And I don't like the way that's bending up. So let's put one a little bit lower right there. There we go. All right, and that's gonna give you plenty of hold onto your chicken wire. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so now we're gonna get this balmy blue and white ribbon. This ribbon is so light, you can hardly even feel it. And I'm gonna try, it takes me a couple of tries with this ribbon, to shorten up these little loops. For some reason it doesn't like to pull through. There we go. Each time you tighten it, oh, come on. Each time you tighten it, it, it gets a little bit better. It takes me about three tries. There we go. Snip, snip. And we'll use a mini glue dot to put that right there. And I have cut out an oval, a stitched oval, this stitched oval is from our gift card dies. And I'm gonna stamp the sentiment in Poppy Parade. Today is a good day. And that is just such a general, general sentiment you could use it for. Birthdays, graduations, um, you know, any kind of retirement, any kind of celebration, any kind of <clears throat> something that's marking um, an exciting or good day. All right, I'm gonna put that, actually, we're gonna put a couple of dimensionals on this to stack it up to make it as tall as, remember we've got dimensionals here, <coughs> excuse me, and here. So I wanted it to be just as tall, so I put two dimensionals on the back. Now, you can leave it like that, but I wanted to fancy up the inside too. And this paper is free, you get it free with a $50 order. So I wanna use it as much as I can. So I've cut a piece to go on the inside, uh, four by five and a fourth, maybe three and three fourths by five. I'll have the measurements on my blog post today. Then I'm gonna put that piece of white right there in the middle and a strip of the chicken wire across the bottom like that. Isn't that fun? Really fancy. And you could even maybe stamp and cut out, an, uh, cut out another chicken. All right, you guys, there you go. Another fun way to use the On the Farm bundle. I hope you've enjoyed these projects. Click the link here, go back to my blog, check out the measurements and the supply list, and let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks, everybody. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.